Evolu Table fans. So, uh, as part of our Get to Know Your Artist Better series, which I just made up right now. Part one. Is, yeah, part one, yes. Season one, show. episode one, that's right. Okay, Chris, let's have it. So this is Godzilla. Oh, holy crap. Dude, seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, he's got the scent. Now he just wants to get away. Does he? Yeah. He's trying to, like, go find a place to hide then. Oh, what a creature. Let's get up close here. Oh, wow. Okay, so tell us all about, like, how you got into this and oh, always been what your reptiles. experience has been. I've always kept reptiles and it's like four years ago we are up at a show and saw a little tiny lizard in a container. I was like, oh, I want that. And so that's this glad. guy right this here? This is four years later, yeah. Wow. So he's four years old. Yeah, he's actually moving away from me wherever I go. That's great. Hey guys. Da -da -da. All right. So if we just let him off the leash, where, where would he go? Oh, what would he do? He'd make a mess of this place. Would he? He yeah. would just crawl all over everything. Wow, what an incredible animal. Uh, what, is, what does he eat? So I've made him mice, rats, chickens, eggs. Really? Snails. He'll eat uh, eggs? Yeah, an and egg. snails? Yeah, he loves snails. Really? Does he? Yeah. Are these the ones originate from Africa? Uh-huh. Um, I'm just gonna get in like really. Depending crazy. on who you talk to, this species is considered either the third or fourth largest species. Whoa. Cause he's an adult male. So he's like scared of me. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't want to like. He's not quite sure what's going on. They're that really. They're he's, really he's, smart. Does he recognize you? They, yeah. Yeah. Wow. They're very. Oh, I mean, buddy. monitors. Here, here, I'm just, just gonna back up and then use the zoom function here. Here we go. There we go. Easy there, fella. There you go. Now, now he's like calmer. I'll back up. I mean, a little and bit. he's out of his element. Yeah. So he doesn't know what this is. Look at him tasting the air. God, that is amazing. Okay, so does he ever eat live food? That's um. The, yeah. I generally, you know, buy the rodents. Right. Pre, you know, pre kill just because it's cheaper. Right. God. Yeah, he's going like the opposite direction as me. Here we go. Let's move over here. Yep. Okay, so uh, what else, Chris? What? Not much. I mean, I'm like the worst interviewer everybody. ever. What? They're not for everybody, obviously. I mean, right. We keep a basking spot in this cage at about 150 degrees. 150 that's, degrees? That's, that's the basking tent. That's like the surface tent. Yeah, um, that's what they need for to digest their food. Really? Yes. Wow. And then he's got about about two feet of dirt in his cage that can burrow in it. Two feet of dirt. How big is the cage? That one's only seven by four by four. I'm working what, on that's it. that's huge. And then I, I'm more, I'm actually framing off another part of my room. Or uh, and incidentally, room. that's bigger than this seven because this is six by four. Yeah. Right. All right. And then, uh, you know, I'm framing another place off that's ten by seven by seven or something, roughly that. For a okay, great. Monitor so, how long uh, is this guy gonna live? Uh, their average life spans 15 to 20 years. Okay. If taken proper care of the they, they live longer than like a dog then. Yeah. The sad thing is most of them don't get properly cared for. Oh. Yeah. So they tend to last just a couple, you know, five, six years. Okay. Wow. Oh, he's going slower now. All right. Well, Chris, thanks for sharing that, that this is really amazing. I'm just what an impressive creature i mean that is that is awesome oh how big is he gonna get oh uh, these uh, an adult male can get seven and a half feet each. okay and this is what this four is feet four feet okay oh look at that i think he's happy to be back in there he's he's good with that 
All right. Hey, that's fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, no problem.